Is this the Tea House Podcast? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tea House. Joined by Biani and Al Rogers. On the biggest entertainment podcast in the Southern Hemisphere. Don't look it up though. Don't look it up. Tea Baggers, we have an absolute treat for you tonight. We have some of our good friends, Broden and Cody, coming on. Flow State Potty. From the Flow State Potty. We've already had Cody on one of our previous episodes that you may have seen uh, a fair way back. About stand-up comedy. About stand-up comedy is a fucking funny episode. Be sure to watch it if you haven't already. It's fucking gold. Uh, but no, we get the boys on for another... F- it's just a funny chat the whole time, actually. It's actually pisser. It's a good yarn. It's a very good yarn. We mainly talk about their uh, new web series that they've created. It's called The Bonk City Detectives. Absolute funny sketch comedy kind of type show. Which we want to be on. Which we want to be on and who knows, maybe we'll get a cameo. That would be it. Fucking exciting. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what the future holds? Oh, yeah. uh, but no, be sure to tune in. It's it's a very good episode. We talk about just a lot of other random shit as well, which I'm sure you will enjoy without a doubt because we enjoyed it a lot. It was very good. But without further ado, ado, further ado, let's bring the boys in. Boys, thanks for joining us tonight. How are you? Good, mate. Thank you very much for having us over. Oh, it's yeah. an absolute pleasure, mate. We've already, uh, for those that don't know, that haven't watched our previous episode, don't know what episode it was, but we already had Cody on for, a, for, on for an app. I've been here. I've been in this kitchen, this purple lit kitchen. <laughs> it's all natural. Yeah, what do you think of our uh, studio natural lighting? Broden. It's, it's great. I love it. I love the, I don't know what these ones are called down here, but I've seen people doing the thing with them, the oh, pink ones. Yeah, yeah. Them. Yep. The but, lights. Uh, oh, this will be the probably the best us two have ever looked on camera together before because <laughs> sure. neither of us... You got to use the camera to do it. So, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do you boys? Uh, yeah, because you boys, for those that heard in the intro, they have their own podcast, Flow State Podcast, and they video it as well, same mm. as we, which not a lot of people actually do. Some people just stick to audio. Yeah. How do you go with that? Like, because do you have like a little studio or something with that? Got a studio set up out there at my place at the back, but we've got like we we sort of got all these programs and stuff that where you're running on a computer that is about to shit itself. Yep. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so it's just chugging. Yeah. It's chugging along. Just fans blowing extra speed. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. Just humming. <laughs> Sounds like your PS3 the, when you're, like, playing a game. It's like, oh, oh yeah. You know it's the saying? one Steve Jobs made in the garage, the first <laughs> <product>. <laughs> But that's, that's the, the only benefit of it being a Mac is that it's made of a heat sink. So it's yeah. like it stays slightly cooler if you blow on the back of it. True. <laughs> yeah. So you've got like that's some. That's why you do your coating at the back on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the extra fan. Yeah, we put ice. We on put a cup back. of water on it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we do all our editing in a cool room. <laughs> <laughs> in the freezer, you've just got the laptop yeah, in there. Yeah. We have to. We have to do it. So but, um, yeah, the, the like podcasting's fun, as you know. Um, we just try and do it as best we can. Yeah. yeah. We have the thing where you live switch. We. Yeah, what is that? Because uh, we want to get Jakey to come do that. Do you have to have a camera plugged into the laptop? Well, yeah, you do. So uh, actually, I um, you've got the roadcaster here. I got a, I got a hook up at Road, and I was requesting a feature a little while ago, which they may have already been working on. But I like to think it's my feature, and they named it after me, and they did it because I said. <laughs> yes. But basically, you, the, did, you handed the, them. The, I did hand the shit out of them, though. I really did. Yep. Oh, emails. And uh, what they are doing now is that those buttons on your roadcaster, you can get a page ready so that you can hit a button, which will trigger off the program to change the scenes. True. So we, there's this little thing, the USB, um, HDMI to USB converter called the Elgato Cam Link. It's about 300 bucks. Yeah. I'm like, fuck that. We got $17 ones from China. <laughs> yeah. And six of them, just in case one of us shits itself. <laughs> yeah. And so we're using those straight into the computer. Yep. And yep. then we open up OBS, the program, for anybody out there who wants to do this themselves. Yep. And um, then you just fuck around with it until your eyes bleed and you get really shitty because neither of your aspect ratios <laughs> work. And then, and then you give up after two weeks. And <laughs> <laughs> you just, you get, okay, most people listen to the audio one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you scratch the video. Fuck right. it. <laughs> it's, we're on the cusp. Um, <laughs> I have reached my fucking limit <laughs> with that computer. It's true. But Cody, Cody also put, once got to shits with Call of Duty and put his CD in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> it deserved it though. It was too many updates. <laughs> <laughs> so every time you True. go on to Call of Duty, right, it's just like <laughs> fucking update. So you yeah. spend like, I've, to me in my mind, it's like okay, Cody, you're spending 
eighty percent of your life waiting, looking at a uh, <laughs> the loading screen, <laughs> waiting for this game to update. Why Sixteen you... gigabytes. Why again? So then one night it was just okay. No, nah, that's it. It's done. <laughs> just ejected it from the PS, <laughs> put it in its case, walked <laughs> calmly out to the kitchen, just put it in the microwave. <laughs> you gave it a twenty second. Burn. I gave it a th- thirty second burn <laughs> and, and videoed stopped it, it after three seconds. I was like, no, no fuck I, that. Oh, I need the some, CD will explode. Uh, yeah. I, want, I want someone. I want someone there to clarify if it was calmly or not because uh, I don't know. I, 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 I can I can safely say I was pretty calm. But <laughs> it, I tell you was. what, we were. It was the calm before the storm, before or after the storm, because we were all raging about it. The only reason I didn't is because I'm such a tight ass. I couldn't bear to put seventy dollars worth of CD <laughs> in the microwave. It's just <laughs> relentless. But like, make a game that's completed. <laughs> yeah. Like the fucking yeah, the I old agree. days. Yeah. Did you ever have to get download updates for fucking uh, Oracle of uh, Oracle of Time? Or what was it called? Ocarina of Time, Zelda on sixty four. Did you have to download updates for that? No, because I finished it. Yeah, I do not recall. <laughs> they made it <laughs> ever downloading any patches for no. Crash Bandicoot. No, ever. No, no, no. It's the single reason I don't play Call of Duty because it's a fucking like one hundred and eighty gig download, and then you'll go under it, and it's like forty gig update, and it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. What the fuck? It's over 270 gig now. That's more than half of my fucking hard like, drive. <laughs> to me, you may as well join the army and go exactly. play your own Call of Duty. <laughs> that, yeah. that real life. To be fair though, back then we had like um, memory cards that were like 38 megabytes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure there were yeah. two megabytes oh, or four yeah, megabytes. Sorry, they were, Dude, because I, I bought a PS2 not long ago. <laughs> yeah. And like I have them, I was like, I cannot believe how small these fucking things are. <laughs> like, it's it's ridiculous. When, when we first got a PlayStation 1, Sony, <laughs> me and my dad used to play all the time. Too tight ass for a, to get a memory card, so we just leave the fucking thing running. <laughs> it's just announced to the house like, don't, don't turn, turn it, it off. <laughs> Whatever you do, we've just passed the next level. We're on the last level. Don't turn it off. And then one day, my brother put an icy pole in, in it in the distro. <laughs> wreck the PS, wreck the family Sony game. Over. What, what what made him think that, that was a good idea? Uh, Let's put an icy pole. In I, the don't I don't know. It, it, it was hot. Judy it was, was hot. Down. Running too hot. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't, he couldn't edit his podcast on it. They ran it for a week straight and it was burning. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, it would have been like because Crash Bandicoot had to update or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of icy poles though, man, we were just talking briefly just off air about how you've been. Is it kind of like a challenge thing to yourself? You've been getting in the pool every mm. morning. Yeah, it's like watch. My mate told me to watch Wim Hof documentary. We've all heard of Wim Hof. He's the breath guy, right? He's the... Ice man, and then like, I was oh, this when is this the bloke that goes into like fucking actual ice water yeah. and then like goes like for swims? Yeah. I've seen that guy. Like actually, he yeah. climbed Mount Everest in nothing but a pair of shorts, <sighs> twice. Yeah, yeah. he just does it every weekend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I told him how to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, like, you, you, you should be explaining this. So yeah, now so we we watch documentaries and I would started doing this breath thing, the Wim Hof breath method, yeah. and it makes you feel euphoric and relaxed and calm. So I'm pretty angry person when it comes to as we just fucking laid out <laughs> the call of duties and stuff so now what i would do is like when the game's updating i would just go okay just, just go and put the breath guided breathing on everything will be okay instead of melting all my games <laughs> so it's helping it's helping me a lot i feel like it could help a lot of people and the ice element of it is just part of the method so you just overcome in your mind everything in your body says don't go on that cold icy ice so you put ice in the water as well? No, it's just really cold at the minute. But it's I've done the ice. You've done the ice bath, yeah. I've done the ice. I bought an ice receptacle mm. for me to have my ice. It's got a crack there. pipe in a Bendigo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You fucking have to. <laughs> How long do you, do you just jump in and then get out? Ten minutes. Is, now. I just stay in there and just fucking freeze. Ten minutes? No. Ten. You should do it because or cold showers. Mm. The norm is like the cold showers because it makes you... Or yeah, you go back to its like natural state because we always wear jackets and coats and mm. stuff now, so you don't ever get that primal because we got all this stuff deep in our physiology that doesn't get used because we're always like put the heater we're on. Comfy. We're comfy. We're comfy everywhere we go. Mm. So this takes you back to your your reptile brain. You get all fucking turn into a lizard. You could kill a <laughs> rabbit with your yeah. hands. <laughs> 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 so Chase really, right so really, how you said your hot water surf doesn't work. You really just absolutely smash it or something, and then because you're like, I want to be more primal. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like, having these cord on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't need that anymore. <laughs> I, think, yeah. I, I think a lot of that stuff that in these day and ages that yeah, you neglect is like very important too. Though, like you're very, mm. it keeps you like out of touch. I reckon, like mm. doing a lot of those things. And you've got to get in touch with nature and stuff like that. Like, I mean, at w- you know, people don't shit outside or anything like that. But when I go to work now, I take all my clothes off before I have a shit. 
because also <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. the smell gets in your clothes and stuff. So if you just take all your clothes off first, and then you can go and have a shit at work. No one fucking comes near you either. You don't do because they know. No, maybe. I might have done it before. But Cody's <laughs> like, like, no, you do that. Like he just watches. I you figured do it, it out. I figured it out because once I went to the toilet with my mask I'm hanging off my face, and when I put it back on, I, all I could smell was shit. <laughs> and so I decided that maybe I'll just take all my clothes off except for my shoes because you don't know what's on the floor, Jeez. right? But your ass touches the seat. But did you, um, did you keep that mask? Oh, I've still got it in the car, but I don't use it. Like, oh, that's it's still there. Story. You, Maybe you just use that as toilet paper and you just fucking yeah. right on the mouth. You get stuck sometimes. Or if you go into a toilet with a broken seat, then you've got to put your mask down just to kind of <laughs> stop the, the plastic from nicking your... Yeah, and then it's nice when you put it back on, it's nice and warm for when you sat on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good for winter days. Well, it's your body, you know. <laughs> you can, it can get it back on you. It's fine. Yeah. So, like, that's that's a bit different to jump in a nice bath. But it's not really, though. <laughs> it, is the same. it is like... Pretty um, much the same. Wait, we all have our own methods, mate, all yeah, right? Yeah. Don't judge them. You are. Because it's the fear yourself. of... Get, it's that pro, the therapy primal urge of therapy. getting caught. If you someone walks in and sees you with no... All your clothes are on the basin, and then you're in the toilet with nothing on. If someone comes in, you got to be ready to go. So, <laughs> yeah. if someone sees you doing that, you're, you've, you've got just that same kind of adrenaline and rush that you do when you jump into the pool. Oh, Your boss flight. walking in with you. Yeah. <laughs> you're having a wait. Are you just having a shit? I mean. No. <laughs> sorry, F- sorry. Fuck science. That's what it is. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a joke>. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I'm doxing you here or not. <laughs> but we should. We should. Um, I've br- I have done it. Yeah. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> I broke a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, you broke yeah. a toilet. Yeah. yeah. Well, we went out and we had a few pints and Broden's like. You simply just don't drink as you're not used to drinking as many pints as say someone like myself. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and our, our mate, yeah, Sparky, we we were doing pints of like seven seven or eight percent or something. Yeah, seven or eight percent. Um, yeah, goats from Black Ops Brewery, yeah. which is a phenomenal beer. They should sponsor this podcast. Actually. Yeah, actually. they'll be watching. Yeah. Yeah. Vegas. We are after sponsors. Probably after mm. some free beer or something, wouldn't That's you? Uh, I, I don't <laughs> imagine. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. And, uh, and so I um I went one for one with these guys and I left. Me and my missus disappear. And I go, well, cheerio, chaps. Have a great night. Really a fantastic time having a drink with you tonight. And get Pretty home much, yeah. with a bit of McDonald's. Because I felt fine. Everything was fine. Just McDonald's. You know, get a bit of McDonald's. Yep. Because you pick up three chips. Because you never pick up one chip. You pick up three chips. I agree. You put it in your mouth. And I took a bite. And I said, I feel ill. <laughs> Wait, you took a bite. It's you a didn't bit put too all eloquent. Just a small bite of the three chips. So not all in your mouth at once. No, no, just just a, just, just the, the tips. Just the, just the tips. Why are you making yourself <laughs> sound so eloquent? Like you're because in the royal it's, a, family. It's, the, it's the perfect precursor to the next three hours of hell. <laughs> yeah. And I've gone. Hmm, oh dear, it seems to me I feel like I might be a little ill. So I uh, wake up naked on the toilet floor, <laughs> trying to like, uh, <laughs> just not having a great time. And my missus is trying to pick me up and put me in the shower. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, you've got to get up. You've got to get up. And I'm like, no. Nah, For those so listening, what, what, Broden's like, you're, you're six foot. Yeah. You're yeah. over six foot. Yeah, better, better have buck ten. <laughs> Broden here is, she's, uh, she's, not, she, nah, she, she's not, not... Not equipped to deal with my shit. She's not a weightlifter. And I'm 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 saying, I don't... Look, sorry, Dale, I can't get up at the moment. But what's coming out of my mouth is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I said, and then the only intelligible thing that came out of my mouth was, I need a shit. <laughs> and then that turned into, well, you're going to have to go on the toilet. And I just said, no, I'll do it here. I'll <laughs> deal with it tomorrow. I didn't do it. They're just short story. I didn't do it. But when I did try to get back up and get assisted up, I fell backwards into the bowl. And <laughs> oh my God. You better not fucking clip this bit out and put it in as a separate bit. Or <laughs> yeah. but, but, but like, <laughs> toilets, to, toilets broken. Yes, the toilet seat's shattered. Oh my by the God. way, not a not a cut on me. But <laughs> so but now you're hung over yeah. the next day. Missed work. Missed work. You're hung over. You're feeling pretty miserable. Legitimately and feeling got to fix like the toilet. <laughs> I got to fix the toilet, and I legitimately think I've been drugged because <laughs> this is around that pandemic time of, <laughs> of druggings, and I'm like, I've never been that lit in my life really ever before yeah that was like me when i shat on top of the toilet that was fucking bad <laughs> shat on top of it and like a an upper decker <laughs> yeah, <laughs> top decker. yeah. <laughs> i'm just not calling it that now did an upper decker in the system i'm gonna put it in the <laughs> uh, <laughs> you do? it's in the top of the thing so it never Isn't gets clean when you flush it yeah. that's yeah, right yeah like people are flushing shit oh, this is going no, off you went, yours, is, yours was probably the, called the chalk top i would imagine 
Oh, I'll oh, tell you sense. what, mate. It was the chalk top, chalk walls, chalk fucking floor. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Should we start this whole thing again? <laughs> yeah. No, let's actually get into. <laughs> let's get into it, boys. We kind of going on a bit of a fucking hiatus there. That's good. Um, yeah. So, Bonk City Detectives, boys. Mm. Fucking mm. huge, exciting stuff. Your first episode for the Bonk City was a fair while ago now, actually. Yeah. And it's been out for a bit. But you boys are doing some fucking very exciting stuff because it is. Would you say it's a web series type thing? That's or just a TV show series kind of type? It's a web series. Yeah. Um, it was a, originally a five-minute sketch. Yeah. And then we were like, no, 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 keep adding to it. Let's yeah. make this 20 minutes. Let's make it like a TV show. Because we had been watching um, – well, you you explain it, how it sort of come to be. Because, we, but we, it is a web series. We, we went around – well, I went around to Cody's one night. She used me to do a podcast episode and then we'd just hang out and just talk shit and, you know – have some beers and watch some stuff. And he's like, check out this British comedy that I was like. And I'm like, hey, have you seen this show, D- Garth Marenghi's Dark Place? And he's like, no, what's that? And I'm like, well, all of the guys you just showed me are in it. He's like, really? It sounds like my alley. I put on the first episode and by the end of it, we were crying, just laughing our fucking asses yeah, off. Yeah, I yeah. genuinely hadn't seen many shows that funny. Yeah. Like, it, and, and then it's like got this huge cult following too. Yeah. So if you haven't seen it, go on. YouTube and, it's, st- and it's still 15 odd years old. I think it was like 2003 or four or something. I can't remember. I yeah, it's like this. pre-IT crowd with a few of those IT crowd yeah. people and in there. And Richard Aoati is the, is the, well, this is the thing is that these guys are hospital workers, like doctors and stuff like that, except they act like cops. <laughs> like True. They've got guns yeah. in the hospital and they're solving <laughs> crimes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking, it's so stupid. And all the ca- the camera work is all shot in it. Like, you know, you can tell it's a miniature of the building, but the guy's not quite zooming into the right spot and just moving. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it was funny as hell and Cody's like, we should fucking make something like this. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, what could we do? And I'm like, well, that, that, no one's doing that. Like they haven't done that for 15 years. So why don't we just do that? Yeah. But then we obviously, we changed put your a lot spin, of stuff. Put your spin on it. Yeah, yeah, on. got to. Because it's like, well, what could it be about? Could it be in a hospital? I'm like, well, why don't we just do cops? Because that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. And then we just, we filled in the gaps from there. We didn't know what we we're going to do. And we just came up with a loose story. We're yep. writing them on, on my phone. As we shot them, we're like, what do we do? And Cody will be like, okay, we should do this. And I'm like, okay. And then what will he say? And he's like, um, we'll say this. And then I go, okay, and I'll say this. Yep. It was then, literally like yeah. putting, putting heads together and going, making a story just as we were going off the cuff on if the fly, yeah. which you, which feels like to one of the best ways to do it for us, I yeah. feel like. If you're one of those processes too, you just keep adding to as well. Like fucking one person says something and just like, oh, film that. Yep. Actually, let's do that again. Yeah. But yeah, and yeah. let's do that again. But and you just keep, keep yeah. going, keep going. That's like it. you said, because it started yeah. off like five minutes, got to like twenty. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It happened quick too, but that, like that's another thing is like I don't understand why more people aren't going. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we make this? Yeah, mm. because it's easy to do now. Like you guys have got like this is like yeah gold standard video podcast. Exactly. You've you got, got all the equipment. Fun. You got the skill. You got the skills to back it up too. I think maybe a lot of people have an issue with that part of the thing. But <laughs> Some people, but <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's but it literally you can make whatever you want. You can, and mm. it just comes down to how much effort and time you want to put into something. And you know, Cody's a, one of the fastest editors I've ever seen. Well, probably the because I don't hang around with a lot of editors. No offense. Not my crowd. Yeah, not not my crowd. I know sorry. one editor, and he's right next <laughs> to me, yeah, <exactly. laughs> and he's so good because he's the only one. No. But Cody, I'd be what, quicker if I wasn't in the cool room. <laughs> <laughs> if but I was warm, exactly with every break every 20 minutes <laughs> yeah, exactly. but like cody will will operate at the speed of his own brain on the fucking machine because he just knows what he's doing and and i mean i can do the same thing in the audio world editing but i don't get that idea of how the video kind of fits in and how to layer all that kind of stuff in yep. so when we edit cody will be sitting there and i'll just be like annoying him by going and put this bit on top there and he's like already doing that anyway yeah and just being very patient with me <laughs> yep. and, and i'm going hey do this one this one he's like what do you mean i'm like a little bit more to the other side a little bit and then cut this bit out here <laughs> and he's like Already got it done. Yeah, it's like yeah, that's what I'm. Shut up, that's what I'm redoing. But, yeah. <laughs> but not being nice, of course. But the um, but we get it smashed out on the spot, and then my thing that I like to do is put lights on stuff. So yep. we got the strengths of Cody's got a really good idea for how to make this thing look funny and be funny, and when we write it, he's got the gags that are going to make it good. Yeah, and then I'll just try to make the lights look, make everything look good, and yep. then we film it together, and then we cut it together. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. Wait, for those playing at home, tell everyone what Bonk City Detectives actually is. Give us the it's, premise. It is the basically you've got two, you've got a police station. <laughs> 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 All right, just think that, and then you've got the, within that police station, you've got two guys, um, Stevie the Hawk, Nighthawk, 
and Joey Lazarus. The names are perfect too. They're so good. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I had some original shitty names, and then Broden's like, "No, no, it's got to be more '80s. <laughs> How about this and this?" And it was like, "Oh, yeah, of course." I, I've got. I know, I know these things. <laughs> right. Well, that's he. That's his. He brought that to the table himself. And that's his name. Our, oh, uh, really? Yeah, our yeah. arch nemesis Richter um, returns. Yeah. This is episode one, and it's like, oh shit, what are we going to do about this bloke, Scotty, Scotty Richter, played by Scotty Richter, <laughs> who is a, um, a local backyard um, Hall of Fame, backyard Hall of Fame wrestling yep. champion, or just a Hall of Famer. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah I've actually whole, worked with him before. There's a whole league of things. Yeah, he's your, he's your boss, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, essentially, yeah. yeah. We yeah. like to say contemporary. <laughs> but, uh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're equals. <laughs> we're yeah, we're, yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He owns the place that he works at. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and then he's employed by you boys as an actor. That's right. So it's a bit of bit of that, uh, you know, grabbing grabbing yep. stuff. So so Richter comes back and he's a bit of a badass, and like it's basically following the life adventures of Hawk and Laz around as shit hits the fan every mm. week. Mm. Yeah, um, we got some exciting stuff coming up you know, over six episodes now that are written. Yep. Um, so is that like where the full episodes are kind of going? So you, is six season, uh, six episodes the first season per yes, se? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So w- yeah. We, we like to, we refer to this thing called the classic British season of six, which yep. is just all the shit that we like is seems to be six episodes mm. of just really, really, really good shit. And if you're really lucky, you get another six episodes. But there's never, it's, there's, uh, sometimes it's just like, here's six episodes of hilarious stuff, see you later. Yeah. Never do anything again. Got cancelled by four, Channel 4 or whatever. But every now and again you get stuff like, what's the, um, the Ricky Gervais shows that he, was, that he was doing back in the day? Or it, the it, how many oh, Afterlife, how many episodes of that per season? Yeah, six, are there? six. There's six, long, six yeah. episodes of really, really good shit yep. condensed into these, you know, little chunks. Six seems like a good number, and twenty around 20 minutes each. Yeah. That gives you a movie length, hour 20. So yeah. yeah. So... There you go. That's it. Yeah, it's like um, have a, have an idea and follow through with it. And make it mm. is essentially what it is. Yeah, What's and like? it is and it is funny. Me and Blake were watching a little bit of it just before fucking classic. You went to the Thanks wrong address, cool. lads. Yeah, in the yeah. first episode, very it good. It happens. It does happen. What's, um, what's like the name of like that sort of comedy? Like, because I'm like I'm trying to make a comparison. It's like sort of like Russell Coit, sort of like. Yeah, there's a bit of that. Yes, yeah, like. There's like a bit yeah. of overacting. Satire. Well. Yeah, over satire. Parody. Yeah, mm. yeah sort of parody. A lot of slapstick. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, there slapstick. is because the, the, all the, the fight moves and stuff like that, like, are uh, completely ridiculous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the dub overs are funny, like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was watching one with Blake and you were, like, just got into the barn and you, like, said something. Yeah. I was like, that is, like, so obviously good. Like, well, you that, know what that I mean? W- <laughs> that, they do that in Garth Brenger's Dark Place, but and yeah. we wanted to put one in, but this one happened by accident. Because what <laughs> I say is, you might want to come, you might want to come and check this out, is the overdub. <laughs> But what I actually said on the day was, I want to have a look at this. And I didn't realise that I actually said it so stupid and we watched it back and I'm like, oh, that's fucking yeah. shit. <laughs> so we put the podcasting setup stuff up and then so like Cody hit the go button and we just did the thing over the top to make it ridiculous. It's yeah. like if you're going to do it, you may as well make it. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's the main What's the main Matt Berry one? What's the? He goes, um, oh, I was doing it the other day, wasn't I? It's mm, just like, mm. you and he were buddies, weren't <laughs> you? <laughs> That's the, over the top of him just doing it like quite casually. You and he were buddies, weren't you? And he goes, you and he were buddies, weren't you? <laughs> over the top, like so. If you and he, he wished to be uh, best buddies again, <laughs> I won't stand in your way. Yeah, but he says it way too long. <laughs> yeah, he holds it for <laughs> um, Yeah, got to check it out. Like we're talking about something that. Most people yeah. won't even fucking understand. But yeah, yeah, it's, fine. <laughs> yeah. it's um, people yeah. listen to this. What the fuck are yeah. they talking about? Yeah, like urge people to go and check it out. Mm. Garth Marenghi's Dark Place because that's like everything yeah. for me now. It's like comedy wise, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Like uh, Matthew Holness and Richard Oati wrote this show, and um, so the the premise of listen, we're talking about their show instead of ours. <laughs> <laughs> <With parents. Yeah. laughs> yeah. Yeah. This Deeply guy's, inspired. This guy's like an R.L. Stein sort of guy. Um, I can't remember the name of the dude who, who directed The Exorcist, but he modelled himself on that guy, yep. and he just says all this really dumb shit at the start of each episode, as if R.L. Stein was introducing an episode of Goosebumps, and then oh, yeah. goes into the show, and there's like all this stuff where there's missing scenes, and it's just hilarious. But um, just <laughs> But that, it's left. It's left. Like there's a big community of fans for that show that are, are high and dry. They've yep. got nothing else, and so we've kind of cultivated a bit of a relationship with their fans and said, "Hey guys, let's just face it. They're not doing this again. What do you reckon if we do something like this?" So we put up the episode that we did, and the guys have really, really enjoyed it. And so yep. a lot of our Kickstarter backers have have come from that page as well. They've been really good UK yeah. people. Yeah, so, fucking know. That's actually yeah. awesome. That's sort of smart. So how did you like approach? 
that like you said that you made like a with their fans and yeah. stuff like that so how, how do you how do you like just by being a fan as well and being in their group yeah and just okay. being part of the like well, i'll comment on their dumb shit every day just f- as a fan and just make jokes and stuff like that and then i you know i'm like hey guys um would it be okay if i drop something here because he's like you don't go on a self-promote and spam your shit you just yeah. go hey is it all right if i drop something um anyone send me a message and i'll message it straight to you yeah. and people like there was like 40 people and they're just like fucking drop it and i'm like all right so True. I dropped it and then they checked it all out and then I did another one where they let me put the Kickstarter link on the page and people seem to be pretty happy with that. So That's awesome. Yeah. Shit. So yeah, and uh, for those that don't know, the boys have started a Kickstarter for mm. the web series, which is fucking very exciting. I've mm. actually never met anyone that's started their own Kickstarter ever. Neither have yeah. I. Neither <laughs> have I. I didn't know you could actually do it. <laughs> yeah, is it hard to do? Like you have to be pretty... Um, we'll we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. Like regulations yeah. and stuff. It's, hard, it's easy. Yep. It's easy to set up, isn't it? Ha- so how do yeah. I, you know, like advertise something but not deliver it and take the money? That's called That's fraud. <laughs> That's called fraud. You can do that. All you need to do is stand out the front of Coles with a fucking tin. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. And say you're from Amnesty and just never give the money to the children. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I hate that. I know. So you're we're, saving, we're paying your wages, you right. fuckhead. We're, sa- we're sa- <laughs> telling you saving the oceans or yeah. something. You, you, know? you could do that if you go overseas because you're the sexy Australian guy overseas. Here, you're just another fucker with headphones. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> no offense. No offense, bro. But that's what they send. They send those sexy Irish kids over and stuff like that. They're like, hey, you know, do you want to, do you want to, hey, hey, sweetheart, hey, darling, hey, nice jacket, bro. I think I've got the same jacket. No, you fucking don't. And I won't give you any money because I know that it's going to your mate to get a new car. Fuck yourself. <laughs> anyway, so Bong City Detectives Kickstarter is uh, <laughs> launched on Saturday. <laughs> but yeah. To set up, I suppose, Cody set it up and then I just went and fucking shared it and helped write up some stuff for it. Yep. We had to get the pledges. We'd spend a bit of time setting it up, set like setting it up because we're like, well, what are we going to offer these people? You know, when you think about this thing, the money you raise, you don't get what you what you raise, right? Mm. Because Kickstarter take five percent, mm. then they take five percent again. Really, which is one of them is a um is a setup fee, like a processing fee, and one of them is a Kickstarter fee. So that's where they make their money off that five percent, and then the other five percent is for actually the work they do. Yep. Then you got to pay tax on it. They would be really a killing. Absolutely, you got to pay tax on it as well. Oh shit, yeah. What? What's the percentage of tax? Um, I don't know. What's the standard? Uh, you know, what Ten tax eight, do you pay on your on your wage? Eight, like, so it, is, yeah, I don't actually know. I was asking someone the other day. Eighteen percent, I think. It depends it all on what you earn. What, what what it is you're doing, and yeah. I've got no idea, and I never want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd rather be left to, in the dark. Yeah, yeah I'd rather we'll just risk out. it and one day be in jail for tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. at the end of that, though, you've got say we've put ours up for. Excuse me. We want we wanted to get five k. Yeah. So we made it six three, which accounts for a, a, a most of that expenditure. That oh yeah, 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 yeah. But most of that five k is going to go into reward fulfillment for like you know you guys want to put it in and get your t shirt and your stickers and all that kind of stuff. Then that costs money as well. So yeah, we're not going to see that. We'll end up with a fraction of what we had a lot to start of, with. A lot yep. of it to me is like my mind is like it's building an audience because yep. I feel like that's the most valuable thing. If you yep. can have sort of a cult following around a show like this, then. That's worth its weight in gold. Exactly, for sure. And that's yep. totally where it, where it gets its worth from is because so it's a marketing campaign. It is, yeah. 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 But just, yeah, people to um, support it. Like, we've already had heaps of support for the show, so it's like, yeah, thanks to everyone for that because it makes us want to do more. Like, yeah. And Dean Aliotto, uh, Ali <laughs> Dean Aliotto, who's a director, filmmaker yeah. from California. I think, he's, I, think he, I think he's from San Francisco. Anyway, he's an American dude. Yeah. <laughs> he's an American guy. He makes yeah. movies. That's it. For, and for he, a said, um, he said he suggested something that was pretty exciting to make a, a feature length mm. thing after the season. Yeah. Oh, really? Maybe. Yeah. And I was Shit. like, well, that's, that's, an, that's an option too. Yeah. You could uh, like just further down the track. Just an option. Like if you want to do it or not, like might fucking not even bother about a boy there. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Might it have might too be big really time after that. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He made his first feature for six grand. In yep. the States when he was 24, 25 years old. And it went like nowhere except it was it was about alien abduction. And um, it made its way around to little video shops. And True. somebody tuck, like cut the credits off and started circulating it as if it were real. As if somebody had actually found this video. It was a handy cam video of a oh. family getting d- abducted over the night. That's and fucking funny. Was it? Yeah. And then it blew up. And then it blew up. Oh, oh. That's so good. What's that? It was the first... 
movie of that yeah. style, wasn't it? Before, it was 10 years before Blair Witch and then Blair Witch was the same sort of thing where they looked like they found the tape of these people who got kidnapped or whatever. Yep. And and his was the first one and people shit canned it but then the alien community thought it was like legit. Yeah, so he spent the next few years trying to tell people, calm down, I made this movie and then he got accused of being a disinformation agent for the government all this weird shit. <laughs> Hilarious. But, um, but yeah. Are you, are you guys going to make a, a thing like that? Because I know, like I've noticed you guys make a whole bunch of creative projects and like sketches that. and stuff yeah sketches and but do you feel like you'll go down that path of making something that's long form or like a yeah so i've um you know like adam and eve yep yeah so i'm like we're like mates with the owners of him and i hit oh. him up ages ago about i want to do a web series in his cafe yeah and just do like a few episode kind of thing like a sitcom style yeah old yeah definitely sitcom. similar yeah. to um you know arnie donna yeah, them yeah. boys. Yeah, yeah, they're fucking so funny to yeah. me. I reckon, yeah. and like yeah. I they hit it, man. They're some Ballarat kids. Broden, Broden Kelly uh, is uh, the, the he's younger than I am, really, and more famous, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he's, he's that Ballarat funny. man. They, were, they were they were uh, my friend Steve went to drama school with those kids. Oh, so, really? Yeah, those guys are yeah. an inspiration because they were the, like when I first started doing comedy, they were like the Melbourne Comedy Festival every year pumping it. They had like this. They had a cult following, yeah. and they were just pumping it each year. And everyone's like, those guys are really fucking funny. And then. One year they just get bang. Boom, Netflix. See ya. Netflix. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was sick that Ed they Elms. got a Netflix show. Have you boys seen the show? I like it. I haven't it. watched it yet, but don't hold that against me. I've watched Avatar three times this year. So Can I say something? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I prefer their YouTube stuff heaps more. Yeah, I right. feel like the Netflix almost went too far. Yeah, yeah. Where it like there were some I, scenes where it was like, this is so fucking absurd. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, and like, they're, and they're, I, that's I like, like what they're so built on. Like just fucking the most... Just like you'll you'll watch it, and you're like, what the fuck is that? But that is classy. But like yeah. uh, the I don't know. It was I just like sometimes too, yeah. it was just a bit too, like uh, it's just more weird than funny. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. But still, fucking ups to them. Yeah, yeah they did it, man. They got like, some great sketches. Imagine mm. if imagine if all your mates that you wanted to see successful and happy hit that plateau. Fuck. Right. They hit. They got Netflix money. Yeah. It doesn't even matter if it was good. They got Netflix money. <laughs> I'd love to know how much like income. They would have made from that, like whether yeah. it was like contract oh. based or like view based. Who knows? They probably didn't get paid. Ask Dave Chappelle. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, well, he got that. He got that money eventually. Yeah. He got that money yeah, back. He probably had to fight for it. And he's one of oh, the yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, one yeah. of the biggest stars in the world. Yeah. And if he had to fight for it, imagine fucking what they're gonna yeah, exactly. get. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it took him fucking fifteen years to to get it back. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he went through hell with that shit. Yeah. But uh, what a he's a bad motherfucker. He is. <laughs> he just put his foot down one day and says, "I want my money," and they go. Hey, you know, I work for these guys and uh, everyone who fucked you over is gone now. We'll give you the money. Mm. He's like, all right. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll take it. Sweet. Now he's happy to have the show played, you know, anywhere because he got his- I'm happy for paid. that too because I enjoyed watching the Chappelle show on I Netflix. Did. I felt, I, st- I didn't watch it after I heard what he said. I was like, I'm never watching this again. I didn't watch it until you gave it the yeah. all clear. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, so you can watch it again. <laughs> but see, he says, you know, if you ever liked anything I've ever done, don't watch that show. And I'm not asking you to boycott the network, boycott yeah, me. Oh, I'm really? Like, I'm like, all right, I'll do that. Is this his he, latest Netflix show thing? No, no. he's old, um, his original uh, The Chappelle show, which was like a hilarious sketch show. Well, yeah. Probably one of the OGs of hilarity. It's the funniest thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, it's very funny. Best thing in the fucking whole entire yeah, world. The whole damn world. It's up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there. It's he did it. Stuff. He's, um, he's, he's taken comedy to a new place that people didn't know it could go. And, and this comedy can be, comedy is everywhere. Yeah, and that's it has thing. to be, and you have to pluck it. And that's, that's what we're doing with this show is that we've seen, we've, we've watched Blue Healers, we've watched Magnum PI, we've seen MacGyver, we've seen all these shows. They're fucking stupid, mm. but they're not stupid for the reasons that people like them. I mean, that people don't like them for the reasons they're stupid. People ignore that stuff Man, and they go, oh, I watched right. Home and Away. Have you watched Home and Away lately? I have not, Like no. in the last 10 years? No. That yeah, is in the last ten years, the funniest though. fucking show ever. <laughs> Just by, like people don't know it's funny, but if you watch it from a through a lens of co- this is comedy, mm. every beast of acting, every every bit you, of dialogue. You were on Home and Away, weren't you? When you did that video where you were on Home and yeah, Away, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every piece of dialogue, everything's funny. Yeah. It's just ridiculously shit. It's and it's supposed to and like, it's main st- and the whole idea in the back of your head's like this is still people watch it. Yeah, yeah. But, it's like Sharknado, but like. 
He was like, yeah, yeah. So that, Sharknado knew what they were doing where yeah. these people on Home and Away still think that their jobs are valid yeah. and they're like still writing stuff like this is serious hard hitting drama that we need to really get across to the people yeah. you know we're going to have okay I'll tell you what we're going to have a mistreated youth that's had a parent on drugs that's now homeless it's like is so, Irene, so more people will you know relate to that you know why yeah. you know is Irene why? still on it you know why I don't know it's because there's an accent barrier for the UK and that's yeah. where it's big so they, they probably don't realise that it's bad acting they're probably yeah, just like yeah, uh, hey. all Aussies sound the same <laughs> I've, I've seen the Bill and Coronation Street. I know they know what bad acting <laughs> is. They know. But they, they take this stuff super seriously where it's funny that we find ourselves in this situation. I can't situation. actually, I want to backpedal just quickly, yeah, okay. bro. And like, we can't be on here saying how, talking about how bad people <laughs> that, are acting. You're just, you're just about to cover me. You're just, <laughs> oh, sorry. You're, you're, you're gotta, you're gotta, because that's the thing is, the irony being is that we're, we're in this situation where we're taking something so stupid. <laughs> so serious enough that we have to make sure that people know that it's stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we've got to make sure that people know that we're fucking idiots, that yep. we can't yeah. act, that it's supposed to be stupid. Because otherwise- I've I feel like sometimes when we're doing takes, we're like, okay, that was a little bit too good. Yeah. <laughs> like, hang on a minute. We almost became actors. We have to- yeah, So Cody, Cody will get the- the, I can't even do it. The wobble on for the character. <laughs> okay, so fifty percent more wobble, and I'll stutter some words. <laughs> um, you got to wear more sunnies too. <laughs> oh yeah, more, more daytime you're, stuff. You're in for a treat. <laughs> yeah, you get ready. Is there, is there cliffhanger, cliffhanger there. Yeah, but there's sunnies. Yeah. There's the, sunnies coming up. It's it's <laughs> it's hilarious to us to take something so stupid, so serious. Yep. And then again to flip it around so it's still stupid. Because we'll be watching something and we'll be like, oh, I don't know if it's funny. I don't know if it's going to work. Yep. It, you, what if it's too, what if it looks like we're trying hard? When then, ironically, you're trying hard by trying not to try too hard. Yeah. But then when we cut it up and we go, okay, that's fucking great. Yeah. Like that one bit where Cody's doing this crab walk thing in the first episode and he's like got the gun like an idiot. And, <laughs> and that, that bit there, added into the rest of the stuff, was just set it off, made the whole thing great. Because yeah. the contrast just, was there. It's yeah. like classic editing 101. You can just chuck something in there to make yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it's like this is not funny until you put that in there, or that cut, or you hold it for too long, or something like and, that. And yeah. the th there's an art to making bad edits too, like because things normally happen in a rhythm, and if you make them happen off the beat, then you can tell that the whoever did it didn't really know what they were doing. So you can kind of make a you bad edit work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's some comedy and bad editing yeah. too. <laughs> what, what's I, I like? I like all the um, like all the. Where you'll be like talking about like your dead wife and stuff, and, you just be, and you, your your sponsors would be like, "Yeah, that to me is the funniest shit ever." It's just like just dismissed, just yeah, just so dismissive of it, sort of thing. Like, what was one of those scenes where it's just like, um, um, uh, I haven't been the same ever since my wife left, and then you say <laughs> she's dead or whatever. Yeah. Hey, forget about it. You know, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> like, so move on with your life. <laughs> that was last week's news. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still going on about yeah. your dead wife? Yeah. <laughs> and then I tell him to have a crack at the chick at the office. Yeah, yeah while I'm grieving the yeah. death of his wife. You talk, she's I, a hot piece of what for? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And I'm surprised. I'm like, that's the thing is that that is also a bit of a take on those shows being that, that kind of chauvinism that they would do is obviously completely fucking absurd now. But those shows would kind of put that in as that stuff. Whereas we can we can kind of look... Everything should be funny and you should be able to love at everything. We mm -hmm. can look at that stuff now and go, obviously that's fucking stupid. You're yep. an idiot for saying that. Yeah. Great stuff. <laughs> yeah. Because like, how can you possibly believe it or think of... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. of course it's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> that's, that's irony. That's so, right. So I just wanted to go back kind of like to the kickstart thing. Like yeah. with your goal, what are you like... What what will that budget, like if you hit that goal, mm -hmm. what will that involve? So like there was only, how many characters were in the first episode? Oh, well, there was four, but I played two of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and there was five, but Cody played an extra one too. You played the chief in the chair. Yeah. So now, so now there's more cast. Yeah. So I think, yeah, there was like two or three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then some extras. Yeah. 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 So um, yeah, you guys upping that with the following sure. episodes and stuff. Oh yeah. 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 Now we've already got some good new characters that well, we've already announced, but. Yeah. The the chief is going to be played by my friend Tom, Tommy Russell, yep. who's a um, he's a very well renowned horse surgeon. Mm. Um, <laughs> As in in real life, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like what? The, I didn't like know. That. No joke. <laughs> yeah, he's a Northern yeah. Irishman. Wait, who's seen Rick and Morty? Yes, exactly. The mum. Yeah. Yeah. The mum. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? He's Beth, except he's jujitsu Beth. He'll fucking kill you, <laughs> yeah. but he won't because he's too nice. He'll probably like you, like you know. Yeah. So, so I've been hanging out with Tommy for a couple of years, and he just goes to me on days just like. You know, he's heading towards retirement. He's not far off and he just... He's the perfect chief. He just looks like... He's yeah. Irish. He he's does. I did see a photo of him. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like yeah, suspenders, puts... It, like, and uh, he just goes, Cody, I'm, I just want to live my life before I die. 
I want to do stand-up comedy. I'm like, fuck, I, we can do that. We can arrange that. And I put him on one of the shows I was running two months ago. Yeah. And he's like, that was awesome. Um, what next? And I was like, oh, well, we've got plans for you. Like me and Broden yeah. have some plans for you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you're the chief in this show. And he's like, brilliant, doing it. And just fucking, you can just tell he rehearses yeah. his lines. I, s- I sent him the oh, script really? the night before yeah, and he per- fucking nailed it. Oh, really? Came in. There's a, there's a shot in the f- in the episode that we did, which was the first thing that he said on a camera and yep. it, that we used that. True. That's his very that's first good. That's He's good. fucking good, man. He's yeah. really good. Yeah, he's yeah, good. He's cool. almost a little too good. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that again, <laughs> contrast, because <laughs> he's, he's, how good he is versus how shit we are, it works. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but then someone's going to watch it and go, well, out of all those guys. Yeah, Tommy's the best. So. We need someone from yeah. Home and Away. He's going to take Tommy. <laughs> home and Away's poaching one yeah. of his motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Tommy yeah. shows up, the cool new kid on the block with a skateboard under his arm. Like, yeah. 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 So he's brilliant. And then my brother, Riley's, um, well, he's he's funny. Yeah. Isn't he? like, he's and, and it's like, yeah, we got him the perfect role in yeah. episode two. Yeah. He, um, he went on Hamish and Andy's podcast yeah. and sort of, I was always thinking, oh, my brother, he's going to suck ass in front of camera because a lot of people do. They crumble a little bit and stuff. Yeah. But he went on Hamish and Andy podcast, guessing food, and he was just like in his element, Destroyed comfort it. zone, hilarious. Yeah. He made Hamish and Andy work to be funny because he was killing it. Really? Yeah, yeah. it was pretty funny. So how do, you get on, how do you get on the podcast? That's massive. He reckons it was like a drunken, you know that thing where they've got like um, – What's the Hamish and Andy skills? Yeah. You've got weird skills. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. See, his thing was I can tell how hot or cold a food is just by looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and then they, he gets a call one day. He didn't remember doing this. He must have been pissed or someone doxed him with it, yeah. one of his mates. Yeah. Gets a call. It's like, hey, um, from Hamish and Andy Studios, we need you to come in and do your hot and cold thing. <laughs> Actually, they didn't say anything. They said, uh, your challenge thing, you, we would need you to come in and do it next week. <laughs> and he rocks up there. He's still no idea what he's going to do. He's like, "Hey, Hamish, hey, hey, Andy." He's like, "Okay, so we've just come in this room. Cameras are rolling. So they bring the food out, and then it all clicked to him. It's like, oh, I've got to guess <laughs> the food temperature. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then he did it. Yeah, uh, uh, he got a couple right, and then really fucked up the roast vegetables. Yeah, at the end. <laughs> but he he kind of he cut his own lunch there too because he could see the steam accumulating on one of the windows or something like that. So he's like, hey, I've got you here. So he pointed out a hole in their operation, except then they so fixed, they patched the hole up and they, they fucked him in the end. <laughs> because they bought out a roast chook, <laughs> cooked roast chook, and it was like hot or cold. And he was like, I already know it. As they were bringing it out, yeah. cold. <laughs> like that, like real arrogant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and then Hamish nearly like, well, how the fuck do you know that that's cold? Why are we so confident about it? Because you can see. On the skin, look how it's all shriveled up. <laughs> <laughs> so so he pays too really much is. attention to the food. He yeah. like yeah. sees how it dries out. And yeah, it's fucking creepy. Simple, simple observation, guys. Come on, that's a weird he, um, talent to have. He, you know, we're just yeah. unobservant, maybe, and we're just like, fuck. He he notices things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is what our girlfriends complain about. Like <laughs> this right here. Yeah, like, I've like, had yeah. a haircut last week, yeah. Blake. <laughs> yeah, uh, my hair's been this color for yeah. fucking a month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Riley, Riley goes good on the camera, and uh, I was just going to say, yeah, he he's always had this problem with food. Riley, my brother, like he he always hated tomato sauce, ketchup, whatever, or any condiment really. Red vinegar, yeah, and soggy bread. Yeah. Oh, can I? Can soggy I bread freaks that? me out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hated it, and I remember oh. just this one day <laughs> he was getting home from school, and I'd put like a lo- like three or four pieces of bread under the tap. <laughs> <laughs> and put sauce on it next to his oh. bed, just as a, a classic prank. Hilarious, and yeah, he went off. He went <laughs> off. He was, he was like spewing, and yeah, <laughs> he, was, he <laughs> hates it. That <laughs> like he actually hates it. That <laughs> oh, um, so it's like yeah, get him in the show. Yes, get that guy in the <laughs> and show. He, get him in the show. And he's good. He's really good in it too. He's a funny motherfucker. Yes. So how many episodes have you boys filmed? We we what we filmed the original pilot, and then we we're about seventy percent through the episode two. Yep. But we've got written another an additional four on top of that. So, but well, again, we haven't been able to shoot, man. Like we keep getting yeah. locked out, so yeah. we haven't been able to do anything. And we're choosing to um, write um, film as we go. Yeah. Now, like the original idea was to do a classic film at all. Yeah. Put it in hard drive and then edit it all. Yeah. But that doesn't seem to be working it, for us. It's the same way Kevin Smith does his stuff. So Kevin Smith will go out and shoot the, the new movie Clerks. Um, three, which he did on two. He goes on location, shot a bunch of stuff. Then he sits in the van and he starts just having a quick look at the edit. And then he goes, "Oh fuck, it's six a.m. I've got to be on set in an hour." 
And, and But that's the thing is that he gets the tone of everything that's going to happen on the fly. Yep. And that's a good part of the improvisational nature of doing this kind of stuff is that it's still got to be funny. Yep. And then we've got the opportunity to continue to watch that. And if it's still funny when we put it all together, we know it's working. If it's not, at least we've got the opportunity to change it if we have to. Yeah. But putting it together piece by piece, we get to – because we're not professional actors. We're not professional fucking filmmakers. It's hard to kind of have two guys organise an entire thing where we could just go and get it done on the day with a couple of cameras, run it, gun it, cut it together, and then it's behind us and whatever's in front is going to get done. Yep. But we've got a pretty good idea of exactly what we need to do. Um, but with that, it's not a constraint. We're not like, oh, it has to be what's written down here. It has to be on the script. It's like, no, fuck it. What's funny? Is this funny today? Yeah. Say that then. Yeah, there's we'll been a lot of that. times where we've gone, I don't think that bit's funny. Yeah. Let's just change it. delete it and yeah. change it. Yeah. Get rid of it. Yep. That's so the best way to do it. Though, you know the sure. vibe yeah. better too on the fly too. Yeah, yeah, yeah for 100%. sure. And it's, if you've got an idea of like, oh, today we're going to do this, this, and this, and you go, sick, all right, well, I know that bit. And, we, you know, because we've written it out, we can print it off and go through it and have a look. And then we'll get there on the day and I'll be like, eh, we should probably try this instead. And Cody will be like, yeah, I don't like that. Let's move that to here. And we'll just fucking run it and, and having try not other, to laugh. <laughs> yeah, having other, yeah, like that's the thing. If like for me, if I'm laughing during the take, which yeah. I suck, like I always just laugh. Especially like when you're doing your act, because you don't crack as much. No, right? I, 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 I don't find anything funny at all. There was things, <laughs> <laughs> but I just there's things in the pilot where, like, I was meant to be in the first episode. If you go on YouTube and watch yeah. it, where your the opening scene is you sitting and answering a phone. <laughs> that was meant to be me sitting and answering the phone, yeah. and then Broden coming in the room and yeah. standing there going, "What's it going to be this week?" Yeah. Oh yeah. So he did that a couple of like five or six times. I'm like, dude, I can't do it. Yeah, we had to swap because <laughs> I'd answer the phone, hang up, yeah. and then he'd come in and I'd look at him, and every time I fucking see him, <laughs> I just fucking laugh. But the, but like the, the thing is, too, we've had to, we've made an agreement to never to make eye contact. So if we look, if we're sitting next to each other, we got to look past each other. Yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> you can't because if we look at each other, we'll. We're like, we're, we're fucking retarded. What are we doing? This is the dumbest thing. We're well, grown men. Why yeah. are we doing this? Yeah, why yeah. are we here? Yeah. This? Yeah. But, but as to the reason why I don't crack up is I was a recording engineer for a few years and I've recorded a lot of rappers. Yeah. So I got I got a fucking steel gaze sometimes. So I can I can hold that together because I've heard... I've heard people say shit like, I'm from the city of the killers, the city of the drug dealers. And I'm like, you're from the nice part of Kangaroo Flat and your parents are still married, mate. <laughs> so I can sit there and listen to funny shit all day long and not laugh. Like, so I can, you know what I mean? You gotta be, you gotta, you gotta have your fucking, your wits on those things because I know that it's, there's a time to laugh and, and that is, that's when we edit it together and we fucking lose our breath. I nearly passed out when we cut the first scene for the, um, Oh, for yeah. the new episode together. The new epi yeah. episode too is funny, yeah. funny from the word go. It's going <laughs> to be so good. The bloke who just, uh, the bloke who actually sung that's going to be watching, he's going to be like, oh, fuck. Well, that was and, good. He's, and the thing is, he's still a good, yes. he's still a good boy from the nice part of King's <laughs> Flat and he always will be. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and you know, you know it's you and I love you and I always have, you're the funniest motherfucker I've ever met. Yeah. But hey, you know, we can't, well, I had a rap career too, we all can't. <laughs> yeah. We've got to look back on those times fondly. And mm. there you are sitting there next to you. <laughs> Three boxes full of CDs that never sold. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't listen to him, mate. Don't listen to him. Keep that SoundCloud king. Yes. Keep that SoundCloud. Yeah. Well, That's so good. Um, yeah. Well, me and Blake were talking before you boys got here. If you're me and Blake, mm -hmm. you probably don't know, but we're uh, higher class actors. I can yes. tell. Yeah, yeah, high, we already high know. Class. yeah. If yeah. there's a cameo that needs to be done. It's in the it's podcast boys. Yeah, yeah, be here. There's uh, we'll we'll add you to the group because there's some casting calls coming up for special spots. Oh, if, actually, if, if we're allowed to fucking do it, one of my time. like all time. I wouldn't say a dream, but like something I've always wanted to do is like a casting call. Yeah, I want to do one so bad. Do you know what casting call is? Yeah. yeah. No. So they call yeah, out. They call better. out for people, and they just say, "Hey, we need people be on neighbors in the background," and you go, "All right, I'll take it. Seventy bucks a day. See you later." Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then sometimes I'll be like, I "All right, here's the I script." I thought it was going to be cooler than like the heading was pretty self-explanatory. You got to. <laughs> and like, I was just like, I, was, yeah. I wasn't sure if you're being serious. I was like, "Do you nah, know? Carson Cole? <laughs> What's that? Call him." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fishing thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the casting couch without the yeah, without, without the, the penetration. Really. Yeah. I've seen them videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hang on, do you do <laughs> these like? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, that's, that's, what, that's fake what the agent vi the videography. Ah, oh, that, yes, that's, right. that's what you it's do. A gateway into that. <laughs> yeah. For for us, when it comes to casting, it's like yeah, the more local and mm. within the friendship circle yeah. we can keep it, yeah. the better. Because then you don't have to rely on. Fucking, oh, we got to get an old yeah. mate from Melbourne down arrange everything. It's like, are you free this Sunday mm. for an hour? Yeah. 
Yeah, and, I know what you mean. And yeah. that's the thing. Is like People take liberty with stuff and they got a lot of ideas and shit. So you have like six people show up and they're like, hey, maybe I could do... So my mum can see me say something. It's like, sit on the fucking chair. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. We got this. Yeah. But... Do you know what I mean? Like you got to, it's it's, it's got to be a smooth operation. So we've we've put it out to a lot of people who we know, and we're just like, you guys happy to sit on a chair and fucking cry for a little bit, and we'll film you. <laughs> and then, yeah, there's a crying one. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fighting, getting getting kung fu. Yeah, yeah. So people <laughs> um, who are happy to take hits and falls and stuff like that, we got a few few dudes who are happy to do that, but. Just yeah. take it. <laughs> well, me and Blake are only five hundred dollars a day, and we only work <laughs> in in pairs. So, yeah. have you seen Step Brothers? How they do yeah. interviews yeah, together? Yeah, yeah. That's like me and Blake yeah. 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 Just sitting behind, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and just Where? pops out. Hello, <laughs> Miss Lady. How, how about we interview you? But that's the thing is, it's like, um, you guys should movie. fucking make something too. You know, like, you t- and you should like do the sitcom or do something or something mm. fucking stupid because it's so funny and you can do it. Yeah. And I know that everything that you shoot on those cameras is delicious i've seen the, the video you did for daniel uh dan, dan um aaron we'll call him professionally uh, <laughs> yeah. where, where he, he, the, the drone shot of or the one where he climbs up like Gollum from fucking lord of the rings and then plays a john butler song <laughs> yeah, yeah loved it and then yeah. that one where it's like a 20 minute thing about who he is and what he's up to and what he's doing yeah that was fucking gorgeous man that was like yeah, artfully shot nice. it was really really good thanks bro that was good fun i was like stayed in like two nights down the beach and exactly what a good filming. excuse to go to the beach and just film sick. some shit for your mate and get it's your impressed. get your craft honed and yeah it was it sick good. actually Everyone can do this stuff with a phone, man. Like, they can do it. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's, it's genuinely People make movies like, off phones. Mm. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Yeah. People are fucking do some crazy it's like, shit. It's pretty um, unreal to think that you can just have an idea. It's like the closest you're going to be to bring in a dream to reality yeah. is to fucking make it in a film or a, mm. a sketch or whatever it is because it's like anything can fucking happen. In the Bonk City, you've, we've created the world, the Bonk City, and all the f- characters in it. Anything can happen in there. It's mm. So it's like, yeah, you and you're making it up as you go. So it's like super exciting, I think. Yep. Season two will be like aliens and fucking <laughs> oh, well, time say travel. Too much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be oh. careful. We're trying. Spoiler alert. We're trying not to go full Doctor Who on it. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Few UAPs involved. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, you gotta yeah, topical stuff. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a hit market you got to grab a hold of. So. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Oh, classic boys. Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the podcast you guys have. I know we spoke a little bit about it when Cody was on here by himself. Mm. But uh, for those playing at home, it's called the Flow State Podcast. How are you boys going with that? Is it, are you still going steady along that or have you slowed down or keep going? It's slowed. Yeah. It's slowed. We, it's we slowed. pumped one out the other day, but we've been just full head into this thing, man. Yeah, 100%. We That's just, what I mean. I've yeah. seen more of the Bonk City than yeah. I have of the podcast. That's yeah. why I wanted to yeah. ask. Yeah. yeah. So we, we just, well, I mean, we spent quite a lot. Cody was away for a wedding just when, you know, because we'd been locked out of, again and on and off and on and off. Mm. And then Cody was away in Queensland when I, I started to write like a treatment for the, for the thing. And then was like, what do you reckon about this? It was like 13 pages of handwritten nonsense. <laughs> And then he's had a look at it and gone, yeah, cool. So we started working on it from there. And then we've just been back and forth, playing Fortnite every night, talking about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the, that's <laughs> just the, the best way to do it. Yeah. yeah and, and that's and the lab is the gaming. And just coming up and honing the ideas down, getting them down. We don't know how to write a screenplay, how to write a script. We've never done it before. So we're learning all of this shit on the way. Yep. And we've been like, Cody figured out how to do a couple of uh, visual effects in the computer that are really, really good. And they perfectly fit the tone of what we're doing. In the meantime, I've been up in my shed doing practical effects, cutting vinyl and putting it on glass and shining through smoke and lights and stuff like that, yep. which you can see on the Kickstarter page. Our new logo is done that way. So yes. using in-camera practical effects and stuff like that. So we're learning all this new stuff at the same time. Yep. And um, we've yeah, got, it'd be we've nice to it'd be nice to keep doing the podcasts along with that yeah which we're, we're trying to do but well, it's we've fucking, had so it's many time. so many mm. bookings that we've had and we've just had to reschedule and they haven't followed through because you know sydney was going in lockdown we had a few guys up there that had shit to do and they couldn't get out and they couldn't get access to the internet or whatever yeah so it's fucking crazy we've got probably got five or six guys in the wings waiting yep. and, and we pulled one with our friend dean eliotto the other day because he's australian friend his assistant editor had to fuck off out of the country to do a visa thing so he's like we got to do it this weekend I'm like let's do it yeah pumped it up same night Yep. So we managed to get something out there, which was a bit of a surprise episode, but we'll keep doing it. Yeah, just, yeah. We just got to get get that swing back on. Yeah. So uh, I'm a bit jealous because like, I think you get, you get to talk to each other every night playing Fortnite and stuff. And because I don't play games, 
I don't get to have that relationship with Lincoln. I never get to talk to the cunt. And he just never makes time for <laughs> the podcast or me. I told Blake you need to get in the game, and boy, it's a yeah, perfect yeah, example so right here. What are you playing? What are you? So anyway, what are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> get get, on, get a PlayStation, Blake. I'll just mute myself. Yeah, you <laughs> 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 yeah. get, get a get a play. I mean, get on the waiting list for a PS Five or get, go on Facebook Marketplace, and you know, I'm sure I'm sure somebody needs crack. And, <laughs> and you could probably get a PlayStation out it's of it. It's funny because I just spent three grand on a um like a nice gaming computer. Yeah, like, no shit. To like edit and like better than my like computer. That. Yeah, no, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. It's crazy. It's fucking hectic, and there's no chance I'm downloading the game. For nah, that. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> pro- probably not a bad idea on that machine. I'd spend another three grand and get another computer. I would say, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, do yeah, that. Where did you tell me about your computer? What are you putting in it? Because we we're in this situation now cool. where we excuse me want to put something together and, and 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 depending on how the kickstarter goes we may be able to do that but until then we'll let other cash handball that little fucking laptop off man right, exactly <laughs> fucking see you later yeah. mate, <laughs> you can, just come and edit on it mate you can come fucking use it <laughs> just, give it <laughs> <me>. <laughs> just give it to me just give it to me man give me man <laughs> fucking I give it here bro that, but i say that because you're asking the wrong person i know nothing about who it who put it together like what was it a company thing was it like piece of case it's a Caruso one that yeah. i bought from Centacom. i was with yeah, him yeah yeah I think he's got like an RTX 3060. Yeah, that's maybe. pretty. That's some grunt. That's yeah, some good news. no, it's a bit of a beast. It's uh, it's pretty good. He, he knows. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. It'll run pretty much virtually anything. So that's, great. I know, I mean, that's it, what you need. It turns on. It has Windows on it. Yeah. Lights up. Apps, real pretty. Yeah, it has that slots. The mm. RAM's that's got uh, uh, LEDs in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as you can fucking make stuff on it quick, that's all you need to really do. That's the thing, man, is the computer, like I've got a Hackintosh that I do audio on and it doesn't access the internet. So it's been frozen in time for 10 years. <laughs> What? It just doesn't update. It doesn't do anything. And guess what? It runs like fucking clockwork. True. Never. It doesn't. It, it thinks it's like 2008. Yep. And it's just fucking powerhouse. It's got like 12 one gig sticks DDR2 in it. Yep. <laughs> it's just 12 what? of them. Yeah. Yeah. 12 of them. <laughs> just, you know, separate that power out. Yeah. But it's old as hell, but it does exactly what I need. I've got a 2009 MacBook Pro that I still use. True. But my needs haven't changed, so why should the <laughs> fucking computer? They have now, so we need yeah. other things. I was going to say it's a Mac. I'm sure they would have put out an update that would have fucked it. They have. Then I did an update to it. I, I found out what that update was, and I went to that, and that's the ceiling. So El Capitan is my last one. <laughs> and then if I go any further, it's fucking toast. Yeah. yeah. So stick You're to that. listening to the computer podcast. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, <I'll> <laughs> I'm lost. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> fucking DDD sticks. And <laughs> <laughs> well, for, well, before we leave the computers, anyway, I yeah. seen I seen you wrote a status earlier. Um, that you got du- you got done by a, a QR code uh, oh. policeman. Mm. I I heard one of those officers. <laughs> Sh- this woman, she thought she was in the. She thinks she's in, she's done a f- couple of people uh, that I know. Um, She's got a job. Should I say? I probably shouldn't say. Don't no. say the shop per se. But yeah, like she that. works at a shop. <laughs> yeah, and she's no way, shape, or form a authority figure or a <laughs> policeman or anything. Though she may think she works for the FBI, <laughs> she doesn't. She, I don't so what happened? She watched Bong City, mate. And she got the wrong idea. I was <laughs> like, "Fuck! I'm on my way to work. Pull into the taxi zone, which is illegal." <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 so what? I'm not complying. Yeah. I pull in there at the front of the shop, pull in the taxi zone, go, I need a charger, my phone's dying, and I'm late for work. This is all, this is a balls up. I'm going in, QR code, do I have the seconds to stand there and pretend to do a QR code? No, I don't. I'm fucking... <laughs> to pretend go. to do it. <laughs> Same, I do that. I don't, I don't do them. I just demand, <laughs> if I feel like doing it, I'll do it. If I don't, fuck off. <laughs> I'm getting a phone charger, $10, fuck. Oh, whatever. I go up there and I'm happy in the line. <laughs> and then she looks at me and I hand her the thing. And she goes, yep, that'll be $10. I pay for it with my card. And she goes, anyway, I noticed you didn't scan in on your way in. I said, did you? And then I went to grab the thing and she snatched it quick, like so fast. And Ooh. a couple of steps back and was holding it. She said, scan in, like did the fucking Karen Scan in, thanks. Yep. Just you know, like you know what you should have done because you already paid for it. Just got another one. <laughs> 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 All these things have come to me later in the day. I was like, I should have said this. I should yeah. have said that. Anyway, I was like, just give me it. Like I just and there was a line of people. I was just just give me it. Come on. <laughs> like just scan in, please. And I was like, okay, I will. I said you've. Um, I said to her, I said you've really lost touch of where you belong in the hierarchy. Of 
<laughs> uh, but I'll do it. <laughs> and here's the fu- savage. <laughs> just go right. Yeah, well, it's really worse. She's just true. Yeah. And uh, I went up there. And here's the funny thing. After all that effort she went to to make sure I scanned into the place, I didn't fucking scan in. <laughs> <laughs> I took a photo of it. And uh, then I got my charge and said, have a lovely day. And then I called up. And I just said, Oops. I want to, um, oh, fuck. Cut, cut that out. Um, Put a beep over that. Put a beep over that. <laughs> Jay, cut that out, yeah. mate. And, uh, Put a beep over that. I was like, I'm going to complain about this woman because she, she, if she ruins people's days like this on the reg, yeah. can't happen. People, yeah. like, it upsets people. I'm lucky I don't really get that. So you, did upset. you Karen the Karens? I Karen, yeah, beat them at their own game. Yeah. <laughs> Beat him at their own game. And he went home for a quick ice bath to chill out. And just <laughs> I did I did I did a five round pre I did five rounds of breath work in the Roslyn Park. Um, <laughs> yeah. I said, Scotty, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be late. Yeah. I'm doing the breath work, yeah. man. So I can fucking function. This could be a lawsuit for the just next person that comes in. <laughs> just just don't like oh. Yeah, we all understand the QR codes are there for our own safety. safety just safety, don't safety. forget that you're not the boss. Mm. It's true. It's don't true. sell me the thing. You've already I've already paid for it. Yeah. Give. Yeah, that was give it. Gives it. Gives it. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she, she committed <laughs> theft. That was another thing that yeah. came to my head later. It was like, yeah, um, I should have gotten all technical on it, like a lawyer. I said, Well, Karen, you've actually stolen from me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, she just snatched and grabbed everything and fucking booted it. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's it's funny. Like she she Fucking, she's got the, the way she acts is like a fucking WWE heavyweight champion. Yeah. It's like, she's just so confident. And yeah. It's like, I could hire someone to slap the shit out of <laughs> But I won't. She, she had the confidence with like a, of like a six with OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Boys, Jesus. I think she was a six with OnlyFans. <laughs> Actually, definitely not a six. <laughs> Way down the scale. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in this. I'm going to try to be the better person here. Brent's like, I got to, I got to <laughs> every day. One of, one of oh, us. Cut one of us. <laughs> Jake, cut that out. I said the store name. Yes, yeah, so yeah. beep that, beep that store name. Just beat the store name. Just beat the last minute out. I don't know, maybe beat my joke out. Brent's made me feel bad about it. I don't know. I don't. I don't yeah, think, I didn't it, was think it was that bad. And then you were like, like, oh wait, yeah, let's not put people on a number here. Like, <laughs> uh, he's a hey, fucking nerd. It was funny. Right? <laughs> you got to cater to everybody, guys. You got to make sure He's everyone scared. feels comfortable all the time, <laughs> okay? Because if somebody feels slightly uncomfortable, you're going to fucking jail for life. You understand? Hell? Forever. That's, that's why you have to wear your mask at your chin to make people. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How arrogant is it to think that you can go through life without getting offended? Without getting offended? Yeah. <laughs> <Fucking knew it>. Ridiculous. <laughs> that's true. It's going to happen. It's like, just everyone shut the fuck up. We're all we're all eating a big bag of shit over here. Yep. 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 Till we die. <laughs> just. Let us fucking live. Stop fucking telling me what to do all the time. You just got to find. Sick of it. Got to find the specks of sugar within the nugget. That's <laughs> where. That's where the. That's where lot. What life's all about. Just mining through that shit. Mm. I'm just this. These times. I'm just so sick to death. I, I don't know why people insist on making me blow my top. Broden. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> rant, like, over. rant over. <laughs> Shit. It does get, and that's the thing is, people Stop are in a, telling me what to do, and people mm-hmm. are like, oh well, we got to be careful with retail workers. It's like, yeah, I know, but like, I'm a retail worker, and never once have I told someone off for not doing that mm. because I'm not their mum. It's, it's not your place to, <laughs> yeah. you know, it don't have to if they don't want to do it. That you know what? If you want to find out where I've been, talk to my bank <laughs> because I don't carry. No one has cash. Yeah. Go and find out where my fucking card's been. That's how you're not going to know where I've been. That's And th- the only difference is, is that I don't give them necessarily permission immediately to look at that. <laughs> but if you do the thing, then you're giving them permission to look at that. Mm. So I it's guess like, it's easy because the COVID uh, app failed. So. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there'd be a lot of people going like, oh, I'm, I, oh, I don't know if you should have gone on there and said that you don't QR in all the time, Cody. I feel like, oh, uh, why, it's like, oh, see people like that. just. Yeah. This is also an entertainment Sometimes program. Fuck off me. I just <laughs> so like everything we say is fake. Yeah, it was all a joke. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I like to do at least one wrong thing a day. Yeah. Like break Keep the law at least once. Like at least. I, I went the wrong way around a roundabout one night just because I was like, I haven't done anything wrong today. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I've, I've actually done that for convenience before though. Yeah, for convenience. <laughs> yeah. It's like Mac is, is one second closer if I go that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> way better. Worth it. No, it's like, yeah, I just like to do, And then once I've done my wrong thing for the day, it's like... 
What are you going to do about it? One, I don't have to be good all the time. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> they're going to steal your phone charger, mate. <laughs> That's what they're going to do. <laughs> Once when I, I was... I should have just gone and grabbed another one. That was... <laughs> would have been great. Like, anyway, see ya. You know, because you would have got to the carnival doing for the wrong type of phone. You'd have been... <laughs> I have to go back in. <laughs> yeah. Can I swap it? <laughs> when I first had my lo- got my licence, I once reversed home from a mate's place. Like quite a way away. Like it was probably about two and a half Ks and I reversed home. <laughs> what? It was like 2 a.m. and I'm like, no one's around. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to see if I can go backwards. And a car can really get a whip on. In Like I'm talking a, a 1985 like A82 front wheel Corolla, red <laughs> red in colour <laughs> with no airbags. It's like a forklift. It's like <laughs> it's driving a forklift. It's like driving a go-kart. It was, it was like, yeah, because they're in reverse and the wheels go fucked up. Yeah. But if you turn too far, the whole car just goes, whoa, and oh, just gets yeah. out for like a Hot Wheels car, yeah. just gets out from under you. But it was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. It's probably the stupidest thing I've done on the road and it was like, 2.30am on a weeknight So no one was around It's a good one I might go home like just Reverse home from here yeah. yeah just do it from here mate It wouldn't be that far You just have to go on the highway Because yeah. be right. <laughs> yeah, so, cars never go as fast in reverse You know Because I don't have gears <laughs> Engine blows at like 30k's <laughs> so. Yeah Yeah it's like uh, Do the right thing No I don't want to <laughs> Except for when someone does it to you Someone stole that car from me from, I worked at KFC And someone because it's the kind of car where you could put your finger down by the window and just unlock it. <laughs> and then you can put your finger inside the ignition and turn it. You know what I mean? It's so <laughs> fucking easy to steal. It's like the, bi- the, the Wiggles big red yeah, car. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a big red launcher. car. <laughs> and some fucker took it. And then I was like sad the next day. I had like a scene lesson and I called my guy up and I'm like, oh, I can't. And he goes, oh, see if you can get a lift in. We'll have a cup and I'll go in. And mum's like, um, <laughs> oh, I said, just go fucking the back way or whatever. So we go the back way and there's my car. And I'm like, you're fucking shitting me. <laughs> he, t- he took it. No, no, just some. It was just parked oh, just a couple parked. of streets away because my license and shit was in there. Yeah. Like, literally, a dog ate my homework. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because they, uh, like, my car got stolen. I had all my homework and shit in it, man. <laughs> but it happened. And then I'm fucking like, hey, uh, I called up about my car when missing. I found it. And they're like, did you now? <laughs> yeah. How fucking convenient. What have you done? And I'm like, no, 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 no. They came and fingerprinted it and me and everything like that. Mm. I was so happy. I drove that motherfucker around for a week with fingerprint dust in, on in it. In reverse. <laughs> in reverse. <laughs> in reverse. Yeah. They flogged the, the fuck out of it too. Like I had to get that clutch tightened up, but they flogged the shit out of it. They took all my cool CDs, left all my fucking soap. This is how we party in there and stuff. And Potter's tits. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> so skits mix and, and so fresh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fucking classic. Well, boys, that's uh, about... Well, we have time for tonight, lads. Thanks for joining us. Is there anything you would like to plug? Plug uh, where everyone can find the Kickstarter, watch the show before we leave? Absolutely, man. Um, yeah, go to the Kickstarter. You'll find that on the Flow State podcast page. Um, just look for the post with it. Oh, let's go on Kickstarter and search for Bonk City Detectives. Uh, it's there. Um, and that's it. Just get get around yeah, us, support get in, get into it. it. Um, we, and we th- want to say thanks to everybody who supported us so far because that's been really instrumental in this. Like, w- you know, when we talked about the goal, I'm like, I reckon we could probably make this much, but we should probably figure out what we actually need to spend. Yep. People were really getting behind us and helping us out with that. Yeah. And it's been very fucking humbling. Every time someone puts it up, I just like, oh, fuck, I'm going to write them a Christmas card. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just so happy to see that people are getting behind it. And, you know, there's lots, there's lots of cool rewards too. So once it's completed, the rewards can get fulfilled. But like, you know, if anybody wants to produce a credit or a co-producer credit on an episode, those are still open. Yeah. They're limited. They're highly limited. So there's only two per episode. So if you jump on those, drop us 200 bucks, you can have one. So beautiful. Yeah. If you um, also, yeah, if you want to be in it or involved in it, just reach out. Ask us a question, yep. whatever, we'll, we'll yep. answer it, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. Yep. They'll Other send you a script and then you'll do a bit of a video, what is it called? Cast video, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> casting by, by the time casting we're done with this, <laughs> <laughs> by the we'll time we're done with this, video for us. we'll have our own fucking full-fledged production company because I've already been approached by a couple of people to help make video clips for them and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's like, I've sent a couple your way as well, just like, get Lincoln on it, he'll fucking it'll help you out. But it's just, yeah, by the time this is over, we've we've already, those people who have basically written episodes for us and written whole characters for us and stuff like that. Yep. And I'm like, that sounds like it's good, own its own thing that could be yeah. its own thing. I'm like, let's, why don't you do that like we can that's actually that. awesome that's a good idea just uh, uh, what I'm most happy about with it sorry to just keep rattle on but <laughs> us being idiots making this stupid show has brought a lot of my mates out who I've gone 
you know what, I can do this too. Mm. And they've gone off to do some stuff. They've gone, they're getting inspired by just some dumb shit we're doing. Yep. How cool is that? Me, yeah. More people are making stuff. Instead of wasting their time watching fucking MasterChef or whatever, or Farmer Wants a Root or whatever it's called, <laughs> they're making something with their time. You know? That's, That's what it does though. It inspires other people. Yeah. It's like a cha- link chain. That's Fantastic. the best. That's the best part about it, I reckon. Like, cause like, you know, when you're like begging your mates for ages, like, come on. Do this thing with me, and you like pitch oh, them no, an idea. No. Yeah. That yeah, that's the, been my life. Yeah, well, yeah. Brody. but then, yeah. but then you actually s- you put out a product, and you actually start doing it for someone to see, and they're like, "Yeah, fuck it, I like it. I like yeah. that idea. Yeah, we'll help. We'll, we'll come yeah. join." Yeah, that sometimes that's all it takes. And that's the thing is, man. Like you know, I I over hesitate a lot of the time, and Cody yeah. will go straight in. And that's a good thing we meet in that in the middle way where ice bath. instead of ice bath, <laughs> this guy's ice bath, and I'm sitting around going, I think I'd have another beer. Perhaps I should start smoking again. <laughs> and, and he's like, Nah, man, go do jujitsu and fucking beat the shit out of people and feel better all the time. Mm. And I'll sit around and hesitate. And there's this middle ground that we meet in where Cody pushes me to do more stuff, and I go, Hold on a little minute, and then we get this thing done at a really good speed at a steady pace, and mm. we get it done well. You're you know? in reverse, and I'm in full. Yeah, I'm still I'm still going <laughs> in reverse. Yeah. yeah. And so, so basically you just don't move. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still, you can't push out. We get nothing done. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for having us on, guys. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Um, it's a good time. Thanks to everyone out there for listening to us talk shit. That was a pleasure, boys. It was an absolute pleasure. Uh, T-Bags, thank you once again for joining us. Uh, episode 43. I uh, hope you stuck around because it was a good time. And that is the sad music. We bid you farewell and good night. Stay tucked in.